hello folks back at the Jack family homestead uh, been pretty busy I'm sorry I haven't made any videos in a week I'm kind of rough I need a haircut and stuff but uh, I wanted to show you guys a few things that we've done uh, with the garden uh, we've gotten some of our uh, root vegetables uh, planted um, my wife had made a new sign for our uh, garden and uh, if you can see it there right there that's pretty nice she painted the fence or the gate so uh, let's walk in here and see what's going on all right so we're in the garden uh, there's a that right there is uh, celery that we started in the house with a piece of celery uh, that we had uh, bought at the store. So we're gonna try that. And then uh, we got our peas over here and you can see where they've started to come up a little bit. There's spots where they've come up right. I don't know if I can see them in here, but right there, they're starting to come up. And then over here, this is hot peppers. Uh, we haven't gotten them in yet, but we did plant the carrots. Um, they haven't started yet that I know of. And over here, we got beets and we got kale, which kale has started to come up, which is awesome. And then here we have our potato bed. Um, I believe there's one, two, three, four, five, six, six rows in there. Uh, they might be a little tight, but that's okay. Um, and they haven't started yet. They've been planted for about two weeks now. Um, and they should be starting to come up. This here is our onions, and we got onions coming up. And uh, right here, uh, if you can see it right there. And uh, over here, we have our radishes are coming up, which last year, if you remember, I thought I planted beets. And uh, the radishes got about as big as my, a baseball, and I was so proud and, until I cut it open. I'm like, what in the world is this? And it was a radish. So uh, we also put down some mulch around half the garden area. And uh, that for the that's what uh, Donna wanted, my lovely wife. And uh, here we have uh, peas. Peas are starting to come up. I think I just told you that. <laughs> oh, this will be our corn bed. Um, won't plant that till probably next week. <coughs> Excuse me. Won't plant that till next week. <clears throat> and tomatoes. Uh, we won't be planting them till probably next week or the week after. Uh, we got some green beans here we planted. Um, they are starting to come up. And so I believe the spinach is too right there. Um, but we do have some green beans starting to come up. But we'll see. This is uh, more peppers. Uh, these should be our uh, red, or not red, green peppers and so forth. And then over here we got cucumbers. Uh, I made a trellis out of... Uh, tree he limbs and I got to put string in there so they'll climb up we're gonna have to try to have them climb excuse me this year uh, another thing that I did was uh, if you look in our when I do the beginning shot in this in the beginning of this video these trees these pine trees here were uh, growing they were down to the ground there so I just limbed them and made them look like that I think it looks very nice uh, here we have a blueberry bush and uh, we're going to get another blueberry bush because uh, come find out you need two of them <laughs> so we're going to get that done I'll get some uh, stuff for that and here we have squash um, I'm not sure if these are coming up yet or not I think those are just weeds there but there is a little thing there so well again you know I made this uh, water barrel for my wife. Got a little spigot on it for her her uh, 
shower thingy doohickey job knobber here. Uh, the uh, tomato cages, we're getting away from them. Um, they don't work very well because we got to tie them up all the time, even though they're pretty, pretty rugged ones. But we're going to use those for the peppers uh, and see how that works out. Uh, but I am going to take one of these panels for my tomatoes. I saw online a gentleman, a couple people, that fold them kind of in half and they use that for a trellis. They'll take strings down to the tomato plant and then the tomato plant will climb the, the string. And we want to try that this year too. Uh, this archway I made for her. Um, and we, our grandkids, she made a... A, a centipede or caterpillar type thing with all the grandkids' names on there. Um, and through here, I th we're going to try some cherry tomatoes and see if they'll kind of grow up around them. Um, other than that, that's that. So uh, let's, uh, let's take a look at the front yard right, here's the first rose bush we have for our our property that we bought uh, it looks a little rough right now but that's okay um, uh, and I built a box for that and then we have a little flower bed here some of the flowers are coming up they're just starting to anyway I hope that's those what those are and then we have a, a flower bed over here where our uh, well is. And uh, she's got wildflowers in there and some sunflowers. And hopefully they'll start coming up here pretty soon. Some of these other flowers started coming up. And then uh, over here, uh, this is the front of the house. I kind of wish I could have took this video when these flowers were blooming on the, on the bush there. That was very pretty. Uh, we have some lilies here and uh, some other plants. They're doing very well. Uh, we had a frost last night and uh, it was uh, quite... Quite cold last night. I came home and things were frosted. Um, we got some flowers, wild flowers planted in there, and uh, stuff like that. But well, everything's doing pretty good. Um, yeah, that had pink flowers on it at one time. They don't bloom very long, which I wish they would. But when they bloom, do bloom, they look very nice. This is all Donna's project here. Oh, she did, she's doing a great job. Um, I did put a yeast trough up on that side because the water would run down that dormer and then wash out the dirt for that other bush. And then here, I have to put up an yeast trough here uh, sometime in the future. So, well, let me take you over by the smoker and the uh, new evaporator that I'm going to use this next year for making maple syrup. I put uh, some flat stones on the sidewalk there. That one landscape timber up there, I gotta dig that out, put it back in. But yeah, that's what, uh, we've been pretty busy. And again, we'll chat with you later. Oh, we're in my sugar shack area because I put up a canopy and then I'll put walls on it with uh, tarps. But this is the new evaporator. You guys seen that already. I got a new container um, that I'm going to use for my sap storage um, this year and stuff like that. As you can see, I split up quite a bit of wood. Uh, my buddy Kent loaned me his uh, um, wood splitter. And I got these all from down trees that were in the woods and I'm sure there's more out there but that's that and then uh, this is my smoker and uh, Donna uh, she made me a, a new I don't know if you can see it the 
Jack Smokehouse. She made me a sign for it. But yeah, we do that once in a while. Uh, this year I'd like to try to do it a little bit more. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's part. That's that's our property that we have here, and uh, hopefully uh, our garden will grow and produce for us, God willing, and uh, everybody be safe and make sure you wash your hands and you know and wear gloves and a mask. 